Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to do a CPU and RAM upgrade on a mini PC. Particularly this time, it's a HP Elite Desk. And we're going to upgrade it with a i5 7600T, it's a low power, and 16 gigs of RAM. So, let's get into it. So to begin, you're going to need to take apart the computer. On these systems, they either have a little switch on the back, which you push over, and it makes a click noise, or I'll have a little thumb screw that you gotta unscrew. And then you slide that back, lift up, and you have your inside your components you're supposed to be able to access them. So, in order to get to your CPU and RAM, first you gotta lift up the CPU fan, it'll pop up, then just move it on to the side here. Now you have access to your RAM. If you're just going to do the RAM upgrade, this would be time to do it. But I'm going to do that last because I'm going to show you how to do the CPU first. So to do that, you have to pop off this. And then you're going to need a screwdriver. You can either use this flathead to do these, or if you have the correct uh, Torx bit, you can do that. Then it should come right off. And it's got some really funky looking thermal paste on it, which I have some nicer stuff to put on. Or to move the CPU from its socket, we'll push down on this part of the clip, pull out, out, and then let it lift up. And then grab it from the sides. There you go. So now this is the time you take to clean the cooler off, which I shall do right now. There you go. Now it's all clean. You can use isopropyl alcohol and a towel, and that will get it perfectly clean. There's a little bit of residue on there, but it's fine for this. So put to the side. We got our CPU i5. I don't think this is too much of an upgrade to what was already in here, but it should give a little bit more towards on the graphics side as it has a better integrated GPU. Then your thermal paste. I don't advise getting super cheap stuff, but you don't need anything super fancy. And then you need to put a little bit in the middle here. probably a little bit much. thing is it's got to cover the CPU die which would be underneath this metal uh, protective, technically protective cover in a way of the CPU. Then I'm going to flip this back down and push this little lever. Alright, you got your cooler cleaned which I took it off after I forgot to Record this part, you're gonna slowly put it on there, and you're gonna preferably turn this screw first a little bit, then screw this screw a little bit. You just want to make sure that all the screws catch the threads, and it'll get to a point where they bottom out like this. And at that point, you will stop screwing, because then the cooler is then installed. Put your little plastic piece back on. It's just probably a little bit of a heat guide if you forgot it. I don't think it'd be too big of a deal. Now, lastly, to finish this up, change the RAM. You got these little clips that are what holds it in. So you're going to push these out. Well, your RAM stick. It's yours or... 4 gig stick. Put it off to the side. And we've got two 8 gig sticks. I don't know if this thing can go up to 32 gigs, but these two 8 gig sticks should work perfectly fine for this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to do the bottom first. You're going to line it up at a little bit of an angle here, and it'll kind of slot into place there. 
shouldn't be much force to put it in. And you push it down, and it'll click in. Then you'll do the next one the same way. Okay, there you go. So we got the ram installed. Now we'll fish the fan back in. It goes into these two little grooves here. And it will drop into place. Now you'll draw out your cable down here a little bit. Some grooves it can run through. You just want to make sure it's down, stuff down here, that it won't get caught on the top. I had that happen once to me, where this got caught on top and kind of wrecked a fan. So don't want to do that. I got these parts installed. Your new RAM CPU. You could also at this point change out your storage. It's very easy to do. Just pop this up and it will slide out your old SSD. You can put a fresh one in here. I don't know if they ever had uh, hard drives in these particular units. They might have. But you probably could install a better drive. Then to finish it off line up your top again. It should push down lightly and then show it to the back and uh, we'll kind of click into place here and there you go. That's how you upgrade one of these small mini desktops.